Hi and a warm welcome to the next in our series of short videos dealing with matters which are of great concern to GP practice managers. Uh, my name is Jerry Devine and I'm a trainer for Thornfields and a practice manager advisor for First Practice Management. And over the next 10 minutes or so, my intention is to reflect on what outstanding looks like in terms of a CQC inspection. The starting premise for all CQC inspections is the assumption that the practice is good and so therefore what the inspector looks for is evidence that substantiates that assumption. If the practice however falls short of good then in those circumstances the practice will be rated as either requires improvement or inadequate. At the other end of that scale a practice can exceed good and where that exists there is the potential for a practice to receive an outstanding rating and while CQC role has up till now appeared to be to try and identify those practices that fall short of good they are now taking on the mantle to champion practices that are delivering outstanding service and to support that they are now making available some examples of practices they have come across that exhibit outstanding practice uh, and those examples are being shared on the website and also via a publication referred to as Celebrating Good Care and Championing Outstanding Care. All that information is on the CQC website, as is the operating model that puts ratings into context of the overall approach. So the purpose of this is essentially to reflect on some of the examples cited on the website and in the publication Celebrating Good Care. It's going to walk through the five key questions Starting first with SAFE, so in terms of outstanding evidence, what does SAFE look like? Well, I've picked on two simple examples. The first one is how a practice deals with significant event reviews. It's important, and what would constitute outstanding, would be if a practice gave that process real profile within the team, that all staff understood and were encouraged to engage with the process and they saw it as a means to the end of continuous improvement of how well the practice works. The second example is where a practice can evidence that lessons learned from safety reviews conducted in-house are shared with the wider locality healthcare team, especially any multidisciplinary teams of which they may be a part. So those two examples would evidence outstanding, um, safe, performance by a practice. Let's move on to what effective outstanding performance would look like. Again, I'll give you two simple examples. The first one is where a practice proactively seeks to reach out to any patient groups which may have been traditionally difficult to contact. An example here is quoted as increasing the number of men who come into a practice to get any proactive health advice or lifestyle advice. The second example uh, would be around where a practice promotes self-care amongst its patients and in doing this it would encourage and empower patients and enable them with knowledge to take personal responsibility for their long-term conditions and they would do this secure in the knowledge that they were fully supported by their practice. Let's move on to what curing looks like in terms of outstanding. Uh, one simple example here is a very practical one and that is a practice that sure to dem demonstrate that it was a caring practice by the provision of a taxi fund for its patients and the fund was there to help patients out if they had transportation problems and they had any money difficulties that transportation problem could be dealt with by the practice, practice accessing this simple taxi fund. The second example could be where a practice looks to minimise the risk of any of its patients becoming socially isolated and it would choose to do this by promoting forums such as gardening clubs which would act as vehicles to bring patients together and so therefore promote people coming together versus social isolation. In terms of responsiveness, what would outstanding look like? Uh, again, two simple examples. The first one is around a practice that fully engages with its uh, patient participation group, so its PPG, 
around such things as promoting Saturday morning drop-in centres. And these would be themed health promotion events targeting issues that are of known particular interest to the patients of the practice. Also, outstanding could be, in these terms, uh, how a practice seeks to exploit technology. In particular, the cited example quotes a nurse practitioner who made their mobile phone number available to teenagers uh, with diabetes, the intention being that that gave them open access to help and promote and deal with their condition at the point of need. So the nurse practitioner was available to deal with any concerns or any issues they had whenever they had them. So last but not least, let's move on to how a practice can demonstrate that it's well led and for that to demonstrate it as to being outstanding. Uh, well this can include again two things, one how it promotes and encourages its staff to grow and develop their skills and embed a culture that is based on reflection and development and the second example is around the development and promotion of mentors within the practice and these mentors would be there to help uh, returning team members or new team members to become as operationally effective as soon as possible and at a pace that is best for patient care, best for the individual and ultimately best for the practice. So that completes our brief reflection on the examples of what outstanding can look like. My hope is that you've found this both helpful and thought-provoking. As always, both Thornfields and First Practice Management remain committed to supporting practices and meeting their aspirations. So if we can help, then please do get in touch. So all that remains is for me to thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I hope to see you next time in our next video uh, blog. So for now, uh, it's bye until the next time.